there's got to be a better way. Holly and Jack's vacuum cleaner doesn't work very well. Having looked at the different types of cleaners that exist, they've come up with a design of their own. But just because they like it doesn't mean anyone else will. So they need to do some consumer research. I still think we should call it the hurricane. Uh, don't hurricanes blow rather than suck? What about the super slurper? Sounds like an amazing slushy. Let's do it. I suppose it doesn't matter what it's called if no one wants it. Yeah, good point. Just because we think our design is brilliant, can't assume everyone feels the same. In which case, I propose, drum roll please, some consumer research. Why don't we show some people our design? Get their ideas and see if we can get them excited about it. I'll do mum and dad. Why don't you go around to Grand's and let's meet back here later on. Consumer research is really important when coming up with a new product or design because, well, consumers are the most important people in the marketplace. It's important that a product is really good at solving their problems and that it fits into their life and their homes. So, what did they say? Dad said the shape makes it way too difficult to store. The wings are put on the sides, right? I'll make it so you can flap down when it's not being used. Yeah, he said it wouldn't fit under the stairs as it is, especially with a five metre hose wrapped around it. Mum said she absolutely loved it and would definitely buy one. Hmm, I have a feeling she's just saying that because she wants us to do more chores or because she's just being nice. Yeah, maybe asking people you know isn't the best way to get honest feedback what did Gran say? Well, she said it looked nice, but she finds it harder and harder to use an upright cleaner, especially carrying it upstairs, so she wouldn't buy it. What about Grandpa? He liked the shape and loved the idea of a cylinder to collect the dust. Said he would save him money. This is impossible. There is as many different opinions as people. We can't please them all. You're right. So what do we like about it? What problems do we think it solves? Well, we made it lighter so it's easier to move around. We've also done away with the fiddly bags. And it looks way cooler than the ones in the shop. I suppose people like us, kids, would like using it more than adults. Maybe. And that's what could make R stand out. A vacuum cleaner for kids. We can link it to a smartphone app and you get points the more cleaning you do. Kids could try to beat their friends. Everyone would want to get the top score by gaining slurp points. Parents would like that. Make it easier to get us to do the cleaning. You may be onto something, which means we might have been asking the wrong people. Yes, why don't you take it to ballet tomorrow and I'll take it to taekwondo tonight. Let's see what other kids think of it. Holly and Jack have hit on something really important. Their vacuum cleaner will need to stand out. It has to fill a gap in the market. And by targeting younger people, they may well find they have a more enthusiastic response. I'd want to get the most slurp points just to beat my brother. Are they wings? Very cool. I'd vacuum more if we had a cleaner like that. I think, I think they, they like it. it. So they've come up with a design that we think kids will love, which gives their parents a reason to buy it. And a name, the Super Slurper. I guess the next step is to think about how we'd spread the news to as many people as possible. With a design and a target marketplace for their Super Slurper, Holly and Jack are getting closer to creating their better vacuum cleaner, but there's more work yet before they can launch their cleaner. There's got to be a better way with support from the UK's number one vacuum cleaner brand, Shark. Find out more at pumpkinslive.com slash shark. <laughs>